Guys, what is up? I hope you are all doing well. I absolutely hate that I have to be making this video right now. I'm actually so frustrated that I'm having to make this video right now. Uh, as you have already seen from the title, uh, it's about Lastman's bad boy, the nobody, you know, those clowns from the television commercials and radio commercials. As some of you saw, Earlier last year, I posted some renovation videos. I've been working on my house. With it being an older pr property, it didn't have a dishwasher when I moved in. Now, uh, I've never shopped with Lastman's before. I bought this dishwasher with them. I bought it in October of 2020. I paid for the entire order upfront on my credit card, no problems. Only after I made the order did I start to get a really bad feeling about the purchase. So what happened was on their website at the time of order, the product was very clearly listed as in stock, ready to ship. And it sounded like I would probably have it in a week. That was basically what their website said the standard turnaround time on something that was in stock was. And I thought, great, this isn't gonna hold up my reno. No big deal, it's gonna be here in five to 10 days. Awesome. Well, that was the first of many uh, frustrations with Lastman's bad boy. So a week and a half, eight days or something went by. And I gave him a call and I said, hey, I'm just trying to figure out when I'm gonna get my order. And of course I had no reason to be suspicious or upset or frustrated. You know, this is all well and within the, uh, the time quoted on their website. So what happened when I called them was I was then told, uh, very sorry, sir, that's not actually in stock. Uh, to which I said, what are you talking about? I, I'm looking at it on your website right now and it clearly says it's still in stock right now. So the long and the short of it is, uh, it was coming from Hayer, which is a division of, I believe, GE, uh, and it was coming from China. It's their cheaper line, but that, the product's been great. Uh, not knocking the product in any way. This is just about the company selling it to me. So I said, you know what? Okay, well, uh, if it's gonna be a super long wait, I can't hold up my renos, I gotta cancel it. Well, then I found out the second uh, huge red flag with Last One's Bad Boy. They have a no cancellation, no refund policy. So I said, okay, this is crazy. So at that time I called my bank, uh, got the process of doing a chargeback underway, of course, because that's uh, totally sketchy to false advertise and then also say, uh, sorry, we've got your money and we're keeping it. So uh, yeah, I, I went about that route, got things going with my bank and they were totally on my side. They agreed that the policy was ridiculous, especially in this day and age of, of the pandemic, uh, because uh, you're kind of locked into ordering a lot of this stuff online. At the time here in Ontario, it was the only way we could order, I believe. We were in the middle of another lockdown. I can't quite remember. There's been so freaking many of them. Uh, magically, once this chargeback was underway, Lastman's was able to rush my order and I was gonna have it uh, fairly quickly. So, uh, uh, great. I uh, decided, you know what? I'm not gonna start the process all over again of waiting, yada, yada. Call my bank back, cancel the charge back, all's well. Uh, I've got a record showing that that charge uh, went right back onto my card, all's good. Uh, and then a few weeks later, early December, shows up, it's all in good condition. Now, if that's where it had ended, I probably would have just left them kind of a negative review, like a two-star review and just been done with it and moved on and not giving them any more thought. Well, if only that had truly been the end of it because uh, about a month ago now, uh, in late July of 2021, so we're talking like eight, nine months later, um, I start getting collection notices from Lastman's bad boy saying that I never paid for this dishwasher. So I'm sure you can imagine my surprise uh, when I got this letter and uh, I was a little dumbfounded by the whole thing. But uh, you know what? I knew I had all my backup. I knew I had all my ducks in a row. So I got a digital copy, a scanned paper copy of my statements, clearly showing these transactions went through or this transaction went through and the chargeback was nullified. I sent it off. It came from an email collections at uh, badboy.ca. And I thought, okay, we're, we're gonna be good. I never got a response. I even sent a follow-up to the, the, it looks like they're using Zendesk. So I sent the follow-up to the ticket confirmation, which I got, uh, and they never responded to that one either. So I think three emails in total went unanswered. And of course I had called as well and left them multiple voicemails, never got a call back at all. And then just a couple of days ago, now we're in August, mid-August, I get another collections notice. And this one's saying they're gonna charge my card again. They have my card on file. How do they have my card on file? Uh, but regardless of how they're storing that information, um, they're trying to charge me for an $800 product that I paid for months and months and months ago. So of course, again, I follow up, send up, 
multiple follow-up emails, calls, uh, voicemails go unanswered. Nobody answers the phone there. I, it, it's crazy. I finally managed to get a hold of somebody on their Facebook. And this person told me that they would never have delivered a product if it hadn't been paid for. To which I said, well, that makes sense. So why are you telling me I haven't paid for it? Uh, and I went through days of back and forth with this rep who apparently can't open Facebook attachments because they don't understand basic technology. And uh, magically, when I would email the email that I was CCing, which isn't the uh, collections at badboy.ca, but like customer support at nobody or order support at nobody.ca, whatever it is, some stupid email. They would get that email immediately and they'd be able to open it immediately and they would respond immediately. So why was two, three weeks of emails from me back in July when this started, never responded to, never even acknowledged? It's crazy that a, a rep doing social media is more proactive and more on the ball than the actual people dealing with problems. Well, this rep on Facebook told me not only would they not deliver something without it being paid for, they also told me that collections of badboy.ca isn't an email that they actually own, but I've got an official letterhead with that email on it. I've got the email sent from that. And uh, it's, so there was also like an operations manager number, this Takis guy on there. Well, the number that he gave, his direct number, just belongs to some poor old man in Toronto. It doesn't belong to this Takis guy at all. So now they've got a fake email and a fake phone number on this collections document, which is beyond crazy. Finally, this rep on Facebook, whoever this person is, told me the reason I'm getting collections notices is because my bank told them that we are doing a chargeback. And which, again, I have all the backup in the world, and this rep even acknowledged that they could see from my documentation that that was nullified. But their accounting department would have to verify, and they'd have to get back to me. But they only gave me five business days to rectify the matter before they charged my credit card. So for all I know, I'm going to wake up on Monday, and they're going to be trying to put through an $800 transaction on my card. So all I can tell you guys is, last one's bad boy. Absolutely do not, under any circumstances, shop with this company. These guys are ridiculous. Not only do they lie on their website about availability of products, not only do they make it extremely difficult to get a hold of somebody, but when something goes wrong or they want you to feel like something's gone wrong, they're outright lying when you try to rectify it. They're giving you false information, false contact details to try and rectify the matter, which is absolute fraud. There's no other way to describe lying about an email and lying about a phone number, that is an absolute fraud. And they clearly seem to be in the business of screwing you, the customer, over because you might have paid, but they're going to make you pay twice because somebody that isn't technologically savvy or willing to go over and above and beyond and reach out on multiple platforms like I did, they're not going to find out that that email isn't real, that that phone number doesn't belong to anybody within that company, that organization. They're going to wait and wait and wait until they get sent to collections. Their credit gets screwed. They end up paying for something twice. That's not fair. Online shopping is all some people have right now. It's crazy times. Some people don't want to re leave their house. They want to shop online. Some people need dishwashers. Uh, last one's bad boy. They have a bunch of crooks. They're frauds. Uh, they're, they're, they don't care about consumers. Their behavior, their actions, their their responses to me, the way that they talk to me, that I'm in the wrong, the way that they're trying to treat me, to try and tell me that I haven't given them $800. Save yourself the hassle, save yourself the headache. Yeah, their prices are better, but if you don't get your product, too bad, because you can't get your money back. They're just gonna put you through the same crap that I'm going through. It's not fair, it's not worth it. Last month's bad boy, I don't wanna go to court. I don't wanna have to deal with this and you know, in small claims. I'll leave the ball in their court. I'll see what they do. I'll see what they try. But I'm, I'm done reaching out to them. I'm done playing ball. Uh, you know, I'm in the right. I've got everything lined up. I got my ducks in a row. And, you know, I know that I've paid for what I have. I, I, I'm not a crook. I'm not out to screw anybody. But uh, if they want to play that game. Sorry for the rant, guys. But <laughs> I just, I've been working customer service related jobs up until my career path my whole life. And like, <laughs> if I pulled even one of the many things that they've done to me while I was an employee of those companies I've worked for, I would have been fired so quickly. Maybe I just worked for better people that cared more. Don't, it's not worth it, man. To save 50 bucks, 100 bucks on whatever you're looking for, which is usually what their prices are cheaper than everybody else, 50, 100 bucks. <laughs> Go somewhere else. Go somewhere where they get your money back. Go to any reputable company. 
don't go to last month's bad boy that's all i can tell you guys if i have to i'll make an update and uh let you know how this plays out i hope i don't have to though i hope this is the last i have to talk about it <laughs> thanks for listening to my probably very long and very uh all over the place rant we'll see what happens <laughs>